Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress feature development tutorial. This is our part number 8. Inside this video session guys, we are going to display COVID-19 stats to our front-end widget. If I back to browser, so far what we have made about this widget front-end by using our widget method. So right now this is all about print R and here we have displayed all about worldwide data. So we are going to convert this PHP object into a standard format of table. So that's why I hope opened something called bootstrap tables of w3schools.com. Now if I scroll down, copy any of the table, let's say if I click on this bordered table, click on try it yourself. And here from this code, I am going to copy this table structure, copy this code back to our editor and inside this, this is the widget method which is responsible to display our data inside front end. So right now we are using all about eco or let's say print r. So what I will do instead of that, I am let's say eco single quotes and putting all the tabular code inside this. If I save these changes, back to browser, reload this page and as we can see that now we have this time our table data. So we need to convert our table header according to the column names what we are getting here as well as the corresponding values. So we want all about total confirmed, total deaths as well as total recovered. So let's say that if I copy this key back here, now instead of first name, this is all about the dummy data. Now this time, we want to take all the values from our API. This is total deaths and next we want to get about total recovered. So copy and pasting it here. Now I'm going to remove these two tiers from here. And as we know that we are getting our PHP object inside this global data variable. So what I will do, putting single quotes, putting it here. And if I go to browser, copy this object key and pasting it here, it will give all about total confirmed cases. Again, if I copy this code, pasting it here and pasting it here. Now in the second row, second column value we want all about total deaths pasting it here and finally total recovered pasting it here now this is all about the first table what we have done so if i comment off all these two lines save these changes back to browser reload this page and this is this time data is not coming it seems that api is not working again reload this page and as we can see that here we have total confirmed cases, total deaths as well as total recovered. Sometime data is not coming, it's an issue of API, it's not an issue of our code. So let's say that now next, we are going to make a second table structure which will display about country wise data. If I back to editor, now instead of global data, what I will do? Copy this country's data, putting it here, back to editor, reload this page. And as we can see that this time we are getting array of objects. Inside each object we have a particular country details like country, country code, slug, total confirmed cases, total deaths as well as all about total recovered. So by using our for each loop we are going to read all the indexes one by one and print all about the needed details. So if I back to editor, copy this echo, pasting it here. Now as we know that we need to use this tr by using our for each loop. So what I will do, go here and let's say that country underscore data, putting an empty value and I'm going to use our for each loop inside here let's say echo pasting it here so inside this country data i am going to concatenate our tr value and finally 
by using this variable all we are going to append that value inside this this is all about country data and country data is all about the concatenating values of all the TRs what we will get inside this country's data so copy that pasting it here now if I copy this value value and value now inside this we want two more columns something about country and country code so here this is the column name so copy that country country code and pasting it here now same goes here we need to copy and paste two times the first is for country so back to browser copy this key pasting it here and we have country code pasting it here now this time we are getting all the country data inside this variable with the help of each respective tr of each country and we are putting that value inside this t body now if i make comment of all these two lines save these changes back to browser and if i reload this page now as we can see that this is all about the worldwide data and this is all about our country wise data we can make this layout as much attractive as we can by using concept of CSS by using concept of bootstrap and so on this is the overall stats what basically we can see about COVID-19 this is the data what we are getting via third party API so we can make max width let's say max height we can also display a scroll bar inside this table so this time we are not going to work over CSS this is all about the idea that is how can we display COVID-19 stats data to our front-end widget so this is guys all about our second level of widget development from the next video we are going to make our third level of widget that is inside that widget we have more fields if you go inside footer 2 so these are the two widgets what we have developed so far inside our first widget we have taken a title description inside this COVID-19 widget we have taken only title but we have used third-party API now we are going to make a third widget inside this course so that inside that we will make our database queries let's say that we are going to make a post drop down those posts we will get from our database means we are going to make our WPTP queries also we are going to make some input fields move something let's say Facebook URL YouTube URL Twitter URL so instead of one or two input box we are going to take more than two boxes and we will see that how can we handle those conditions so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day